Welcome to Electron Online. Here's an example of L'Hopital's rule where if we try to evaluate this, we end up with an infinity divided by infinity situation. When you let x go to infinity, e to the infinity is infinity, and infinity squared is infinity. So you end up with infinity divided by infinity, which of course is not a good answer. That's an undetermined answer. Realizing that e to the x grows faster than x squared as x gets big, you can imagine that it should not be infinity divided by infinity, but what is it? Well, L'Hopital's rule can come to the aid here. Let's take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator and see what we, we can get. So we say this is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity. e to the x, of course, the derivative of that is e to the x divided by the derivative here would be 2x. And now if we take the limit, if we let x go to infinity, we still have a problem. We still have an infinity divided by infinity situation. So the next thing we can do is do the following. Take, take L'Hopital's rule a second time, which is perfectly fine. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x. The derivative is still e to the x, but the derivative of the denominator is 2. Now we don't have any x in the denominator. Now we can allow x to go to infinity. So now we can say that this is equal to e to the infinity divided by 2, which is simply infinity, and that is the proper answer. So it's not an indeterminate form, it's a determined form. And as you let x go to infinity, this ratio goes to infinity as well. And that's how we can do that. Now you say to yourself, well, why can I do this twice? You didn't show me that when you showed me the rule. But what we can say is that once we take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, we can again call this f of x and call this g of x. We don't have to even know that that was the derivative of a previous function. So if you take that into account, you can say, OK, I can do it again and again and again, an infinite number of times almost, and the rule always applies. L'Hopital's rule always says no matter what the numerator and the denominator is, if you take the limit and you have an indeterminate form, you can then take the derivative of the denominator, the derivative of the denominator, and evaluate it again and see what you get this time. And that's how this works.